steamy out there. You want to hear something crazy? Sure. The most humid air in the entire country is right now in Illinois. Oh, lucky us. There are parts <laughs> of north central areas of Illinois that are more humid than Miami, Houston, and New Orleans. A combination of this persistent southerly wind and also the corn sweat. The mature corn across Illinois and Iowa is releasing billions of gallons of water into the atmosphere. And that's why we got this earlier today. Big rainfall totals in Kirkland and DeKalb County, better than three and a half inches. Really, some of the heaviest rainfall. Tinley Park to Mokina, three and a third to nearly three and a half inches there. And then even up in McHenry County, just under three inches. Then it drops in Joliet to inch and a third. Here in the city, not a lot of rainfall this morning or this afternoon. Less than a quarter of an inch at O'Hare, less than a tenth of an inch at Midway. But we're not done with the rain just yet. Again, very humid, very warm out ahead of this area of low pressure and frontal boundary. Got a cluster of thunderstorms not too far from Waterloo, Iowa. Those are tracking off to the east. I think the heaviest rainfall later tonight is going to be around Madison and Milwaukee and kind of ride the state line. So parts of McHenry, Boone, uh, also DeKalb County may see some really heavy downpours as we head into early tomorrow morning. And it's in McHenry and DeKalb County where a flood watch is in effect now through at least 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. On the radar, though, much of the evening, it's just a little spotty action. There's not a whole lot to tell you about. Little spotty showers uh, making their way a little bit closer to O'Hare and Rosemont right now. Also, uh, Elk Grove Village over about the next five minutes. And we'll keep that spotty activity on the Doppler radar for the remainder of the evening. And then overnight into tomorrow morning. Notice how we see more shower and thunderstorm activity come in out of the west. This is a look at 645, so there will be some rain around. Some of it could be on the heavy side for the morning commute. Bit of a lull on the radar around 10 a.m. and then a frontal boundary comes in and I think the front will be the focus for additional scattered showers and even some thunderstorms. Nothing widespread, but because the atmosphere will be so unstable with daytime heating in portions of Kankakee County and across northwest Indiana, thunderstorms that do develop late in the day, here's 5 p.m., could produce not just downpours, but some strong gusty winds. On the back side of this front, the winds will be pretty strong out of the north. That's going to be nice. It'll drop the humidity but it'll also build big waves over Lake Michigan, three to six foot waves. So there is a beach hazard in effect Monday afternoon through Tuesday afternoon for dangerous swimming conditions because of dangerous currents. So scattered showers and storms developing in the overnight 76 degrees for the low temperature. We'll make it to 84 degrees for tomorrow with that chance of rain in the morning, bit of a break late morning, and then another opportunity of showers and storms in the afternoon, especially south of the metro with that front rolling on by temperatures tomorrow, upper 70s and low 80s in most locations. Behind this frontal system, we dry things out. We lower the humidity in a big way through the day on Tuesday. We'll cool the temperatures down at 77 on Tuesday. 84 cooler lakeside on Wednesday with a mostly sunny sky. There's a weak front in the forecast on Thursday. Could allow for an isolated shower Thursday and then low 80s for Friday and for next weekend as well. So it gets a lot better around here humidity wise and rainfall wise, Dana, in about 24 hours. Look forward to that. Thanks, Albert.